Hi everyone, I'm David Wojcik and this is MBOT TV. Stories we covered this week, the Provincial Minister for Small Business addresses MBOT during Small Business Week. The province introduces legislation for protection under COVID. Venture X makes a huge mark in Mississauga and the province invests heavily in Mississauga's health sciences sector. Welcome to MBOT TV, a weekly recap of what happened in business at the Mississauga Board of Trade and around the city of Mississauga. Let's dive in. Mississauga welcomed Minister Prabhmeet Sarkaria to a virtual town hall during Small Business Week. The minister discussed a number of programs, but was most pleased with the number of ways his government has reduced red tape for business. We just introduced a, another red tape piece of legislation uh, about two weeks ago, you know, 65 different actions. Starts from, you know, industrial development, um, uh, you know, streamlining those processes where you have uh, both the municipal government, federal, I mean, provincial governments, um, you know, that might be asking for the same thing, you know, three different times in three different ministries, but having absolutely no account. Um, so getting, you know, shovels in the ground on industrial projects, streamlining permitting processes. So if you're dealing with three or four ministries at the provincial level, that you're consolidated into one you know, one-stop window approach uh, where you can track, where, you know, you can hold people to account and, and build that transparency within. Um, you know, when we look at uh, uh, single traffic studies, uh, when it comes to development, uh, uh, you can often have a corridor. Uh, and if you're building, you know, 10 different uh, developments on that corridor, you got to do a, a traffic study for each um, each new property, even though, you know, one should suffice. Uh, streamlining processes like that. The minister also conveyed how difficult it is for his government to continue having Peel Region restaurants in a modified stage two. Peel Region's chief medical officer has indicated there is no contact tracing evidence to link COVID cases to dining establishments in the city of Mississauga. VentureX opened its third and largest co-working space in the Heartland area of Mississauga last week and bought Mayor Crombie and two Mississauga MPPs were on hand to celebrate along with Venture X Canada CEO, Sela Alaroud. At Venture X, we are redefining the way we work is done. And we have created flexible, innovative workspace that provide our members with diverse, inspiring, and above all, collaborative work experience. But most important, VentureX is a place where individuals and businesses come together to achieve success. The year 2020 has been challenging and our road towards today's occasion was not without hurdles, which make it even more special. The future is bright and I hope we all will enjoy the journey together. Would you like to save money on your employee benefits? The Chamber Plan can help. The Chamber's Plan now offers employee benefit programs with greater selection, higher coverage levels, and more value than ever before. Take another look and see why we're the choice of more small businesses than any other plan in Canada. The Chamber's Plan, it's for your benefit. And now with lead stories from the region of Peel, province of Ontario and Ottawa, is our Vice President of Government and Stakeholder Relations, Brad Butt. Brad? Well, thanks, David. The Trudeau government survived a confidence motion last week, meaning Canadians won't be heading to the polls soon. The Conservative opposition proposed a motion to create a special committee to probe into COVID-19 spending, including the WE contract controversy. The government made it a confidence motion, but survived because the NDP and two independent MPs supported the Liberals. We are still waiting for the legislation to be tabled in the House of Commons that will create the new Commercial Rent Relief Program and extend and improve other programs for business support. It is expected that the legislation will be tabled by the Minister of Finance in the House of Commons this week. The Canadian Chamber of Commerce is calling on the federal government and the Canada Revenue Agency to establish a quick and easy way to file home office expense reports through the T2200 form to avoid 20 million pages of paperwork when Canadians file their 2020 income tax returns. According to Statistics Canada, 6.8 million Canadians worked from home at one point during the year, 
roughly 4.7 million more Canadians than usual. An ambiguous definition in the tax code means every Canadian working from home this year could claim their home office expenses. If this happens, tens of thousands of Canadian employers will be required to fill out a three-page form known as the T2200 6.8 million times. While well, MBOT is hosting the Associate Minister of Finance for a town hall where you can learn more about these programs on November the 10th. The Ontario government has introduced the Supporting Ontario's Recovery Act 2020 that, if passed, will provide liability protection for workers, volunteers and organizations that make an honest effort to follow public health guidelines and laws relating to exposure to COVID-19. At the same time, it will maintain the right of Ontarians to take legal action against those who willfully or with gross negligence endanger others. The bill has met with cheers and jeers as many businesses are being denied insurance coverage or having huge increases in premiums due to COVID-19 liability. Families, however, are looking for justice through class action suits and not happy as the bill could mean their cases cannot move forward. The Ontario government has introduced a package of legislative and policy measures that would, if passed, accelerate the building of key infrastructure projects to create jobs and lay the foundation for a strong economic recovery. The Ontario Rebuilding and Recovering Act 2020 would support the construction of better connected highways and public transit networks, transit-oriented communities, and affordable housing. The proposed legislation, introduced by Transportation Minister Caroline Mulroney, will reduce barriers in the planning, design, and construction of major infrastructure projects like highway and public transit networks, and support the growth of transit-oriented communities, just like Mississauga. Two MBOT Mississauga businesses had announcements last week with the provincial government Roche Canada announced a $500 million investment over five years to establish a global pharma technical operations site to oversee its global supply chain in Mississauga. This investment is expected to create 500 jobs, 200 by the end of this year, and up to 300 more by the end of 2023. It will enhance Ontario's competitiveness and leadership in the life sciences sector. And the Ontario government is investing over $1.4 million in Mississauga-based Microbix biosystems to expand production of COVID-19 testing supplies and further support the province in the ongoing fight against COVID-19. Congratulations to both of these world-class companies. Businesses that were forced to close indoor operations or in total are really struggling during this 28-day Stage 2 situation in Peel. Despite comments by Peel's Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Lawrence Lowe, that there is no tracing of COVID-19 back to restaurants, bars, or fitness centres, the Government of Ontario decided to move Peel to a modified Stage 2 on October the 9th. To deal with this, you can see many tents now and awnings popping up on restaurant patios, and Mississauga is permitting extended patios to continue to be open until November the 15th. Back to you, David. Thanks, Brad. And now for our upcoming events listing with Stephanie Giorgio. Stephanie. Thanks, David. And here's what's coming up at your Mississauga Board of Trade. On October 29th, Join us for a virtual webinar, Navigating Important Workplace Issues During the COVID-19 Pandemic. Rosalie Springer is an associate at Kaiser Mason Ball, and Mark Heller is president of Hygiene Performance Solutions. On November 10th, we welcome Minister Fortier. Join us on a virtual webinar to hear more about the federal government programs to support businesses and have your questions answered. On November 11th, Good Morning Mississauga is virtual. Join us and connect with Mississauga businesses. Don't forget to book a speaker spot. Where else can you make 100 cold calls in just two minutes? On November 19th, we welcome Minister Rickford. Join us on a virtual webinar to hear more about the provincial government program 
to support businesses and have your questions answered. And MBOT awards are still open. Visit MBOT.com slash awards and nominate another business or nominate yourself. The Business Awards of Excellence event has been postponed to the spring of 2021. Award nominations are open until December 20th. Back to you, David. Thanks, Stephanie. If you have any questions about how to register for an event, increase awareness for your business, or have your company featured on MBOT TV, contact your membership services manager by calling 905-273-6151 and press zero to get connected. Details about these stories and events are available at www.mbot.com. Until next week, this is David Wojcik wishing you continued success in your business.